is one of my favorite meals and it's a meal I came up with when I was broke and vegan at the beginning. So when you're at the beginning, you think vegan food costs a lot. You think it costs a lot to like buy fresh vegetables and all that, but it really costs more to go out and buy that morning star and all that. It actually is cheaper to get a cookbook and teach yourself how to cook. But this is something that I came upon about eight years ago. So I call this my Southern curry. Why is it a Southern curry? Because we're going to chop up some collard greens. Collard greens is real Southern y'all. I feel like I should be playing, uh, uh, what is it? I feel like I should be playing Atlians. Just two dope boys in a Cadillac. Me and you, your mama and your cousin too. Yeah, we need to get some real Southern music up in here. I need, I need some gospel voices. Andre, big boy, come through, cook. You know you want some. I mean, of this curry. I'm just saying. Okay, so you can chop it up as fine as you want. I'm just grabbing the clumps of it. Get real Southern with it. Cause there's nothing more Southern than collard greens. Nothing. Not Matthew McConaughey. Not Andre and Big Boy. There's nothing more Southern than collard greens. Let's see. Okay. So we are all chopped up. You could chop it up more. You could chop, you could leave them bigger. I like a little bit of a, um, I like a more medium cut for that. So we're going to move this out of the way. And then this is our sweet potatoes, right? These are our sweet potatoes. Um, yum. And the juice around it, since we know that sweet potatoes normally don't have around it, this is a sugar water combination to sweeten it up a little bit. So we put that off to the side. This is our pot. Okay. We got our oil. This is our oil. Pouring it in right now. I like to do a little oil first. That way when we put it on the stove, It'll have a little heating base in it. This is oil. And this time, let me not try to spill maple syrup all over the table. So this has got our maple syrup in it. Oh yeah. We're going with maple syrup because you know, we love the bees. So we're gonna definitely not hitting, we're not gonna be hitting up the honey train too much. Sorry for all you poo bears out there, but we're using maple syrup this time. If you're not vegan, you can use honey if you want. I wouldn't suggest it because, you know, I love the bees. We love bees around here. And I want you to pour all of this in. You see that? Pour in all of your sweet potatoes. Yeah. Okay, so we've set this off to the side. We're going to set all of this off to the side. And then... We're gonna add in our collard greens before we take it to the stove. So, big batch of collard greens right there. Yes. And I like to think that this part of the slap your mama four course vegan dinner is actually where you start to feel the urge to maybe slap your mama. But you ain't tasted it yet. So you don't know what's about to happen. But, okay. So we put this all in the pot. And we're gonna take this to the stove. We wanna do a little bit of mixing first. I mean, you're gonna keep stirring it on the stove continuously because there's tons of sugar in this. I said vegan, I didn't say we was gonna be all that healthy. I just said vegan. And normally, the collard green sweet potato mixture comes with lots of heavy fat, lots of bacon, you know, grandma style. Grandma, Southern grandmas love bacon. They love lard. But I mean, that's what makes Southern food good. I'm not gonna lie. Like that buttery, bacony goodness. We know we love that. We know we love that. Grandma's cooking is the best. But I'm gonna show you a new way to cook that's just as good. I mean, I ain't gonna say I can cook like anybody's grandma. Let's be 100. Nobody cooks like grandma. But I'm gonna show you a way in which to modify the recipes so you can get as, as close to that southern grandma recipe as you can get. I like to mix it up before we stick it on the stove. But with that all done, we're gonna take it to the stove now. 
This also smells delicious. You not only get the smell of the greens and the sweet potatoes, but you get the smell of the maple syrup, and it just, oh my god, it just envelops your nose.